Time out is kind of a controversial subject among parents and professionals. Some people love it, some people hate it. My experience of it was pretty terrible until I learned the triple P way of doing it. One thing I'll say is if you have something else that works in terms of a consequence or a way to deal with misbehavior, that's great, keep doing that. If you find that you end up getting frustrated and upset and things go away that you don't want them to, give this a try. Some of the things that Triple P suggests to make time out work are that it really is a time out from positive attention. It's a way of just moving your attention gently, calmly, and firmly to give the child a chance to calm down, to give you a chance to time, calm down. Another key is that the sort of classic one minute per year of your child's life is a little bit too long. What we find in the research is that that gives kids a chance to calm down and then to get upset all over again because they're still there. So a triple P, we talk about two minutes for younger kids up to five at the most. We also distinguish between quiet time and timeout. So quiet time is just where you remove your child to the edge of wherever the problem was happening and give them a little bit of time to calm down there to be quiet. And then timeout gives them a little bit more distance and um, from wherever the problem is happening. So here's how this works. Let's say my daughter Sally Jo is throwing cars when I, I've already asked her to play with them on the floor. And she didn't do it. So I say, Sally Jo, you didn't listen to me. The consequence is quiet time. Take her to a chair that's just right there and say, you need to be quiet for two minutes in quiet time. I then remove my attention. I, I've given all the instructions. I don't have to say anything. I can come back and say, after, let's say she's quiet for two minutes. I come back and say, Sally Jo, um, two minutes is up. You can come back and play with the cars on the floor. Or I might give her a different activity to do. If she's not quiet in quiet time, me reminding her and stuff is only going to give more attention to that behavior. So instead, I'll come back and say, Sally Jo, you were not quiet in quiet time. Now you need to come to time out. I'll take her to a safe but uninteresting place, maybe the entryway, a hallway, the laundry room, somebody else's room, somewhere that just isn't very interesting. And this time I'll say, I will come back and get you when you've been quiet for two minutes. I can then remove my, intention, my attention. Again, I've given all the instructions. So this time, if she wants to scream for 10 minutes and then be quiet for two minutes, that's when I'll come back and get her. If she wants to yell about it for 20 minutes, and then is quiet for two minutes, I'll come back and get her. We often see that things get worse before they get better. So the kid will try to kind of ramp things up to get your attention earlier. And that's where it's important that we have them in a safe, uninteresting place where we can pretty much ignore it. But over time, kids really learn to self-regulate and to just bring that right down. And then we can move on with our day with everybody calmer. This is just a tiny taste of Triple P. If you'd like more information on this or any other parenting subject, please contact us.